The European Union-funded Sustainable Energy for Rural Communities project, SE4RC, is giving poor rural communities in Zimbabwe access to modern clean energy. The project is being implemented by Practical Action in partnership with Dabani Trust and SNV in Gwanda district of Matebeleland South Province. In rural Zimbabwe, around 70% of people are not connected to the national grid, which means they lack basic services such as lighting, computers in schools, refrigeration for medicines, agricultural produce, and small businesses. They also pay for expensive dirty diesel generators. The SE4RC project will show how decentralized solar mini grids can provide clean, reliable, and affordable electricity to isolated communities, improving their health, education, and livelihoods. Mashava Solar Mini Grid consists of 400 solar panels, each generating 255 watts. So all in all, we are generating 99 kilowatts. We also have a battery bank, which consists of 144 batteries. This is for backup, for providing power at night or, in, or during days when there is cloud cover. Now halfway through this four-year project, the Mashaba Solar Mini Grid is fully erected and one school, one clinic, two business centers and two irrigation schemes are now connected. Going into year three, a third irrigation scheme will be connected. The benefits for local agriculture, livelihoods, education and health are becoming evident. With two more years still to go, the focus is on ensuring that the ownership and management model is finalized and on developing the productive and social end uses. In Gwanda district, like most of rural Zimbabwe, the local economy is driven by agriculture. Changes in weather patterns have turned this into an often losing gamble for smallholder farmers who rely on rainfall. Electrification of three irrigation schemes measuring over 120 hectares will enable reliable water pumping through sand abstraction from the Shashe and Tuli rivers. This will enable disused land to be brought back to life. Combined with training and technical skills on good agricultural practices and access to markets, this will move farmers from subsistence to more productive commercial farming. Two irrigation schemes, Mangkongkone and Rustler's Gorge, have already been connected and works are underway at the Sebasa Irrigation Scheme. On the water supply infrastructure, we have jetted in eight well screens. Of the eight well screens, the four so far have been equipped with submersible pumps. Then on the infield works infrastructure, we have done rehabilitation of the canals. Half of the irrigation scheme has been rehabilitated with the canals. Then the rest of the irrigation scheme will be supplied to the new irrigation system, which is the use of sprinkler, which is much more efficient as compared to the flat system. In the water slang and other application, sing a cat as well among markets. Sass is tangly, if you will, we cut and say quanta, we land if you will. We are like footy lying at Slingy Patale Mote. All you do was a slang and a little footy. A engineer to Suke Afa, Motu thirteen, satisfied Lunis, a sea shula, Ubana sea Lunis and Obayai, Duma, quoting a keeper man's. I test a sack guard to say quanta setting fuel. If we had a sequinapa, it was animal solid. Says Pogu Tinta will pay Lamans a puma still. Lamans are going to say my name. Health services for the community have improved dramatically following the electrification of Mashaba Clinic. It was difficult for us to operate when we didn't have electricity, especially when conducting deliveries at night. It was difficult for us even to suture a patient. We all had the required uh, medications and the suture material, but we didn't have the light, so we ended up referring patients. We had to get the 
Velunga tinge umchela wanguti nga miskati sako so kutu ye linge la sese kwa nile Ubuye kiti mawabu ya bewa zutu sese kala guze salako Abebo na maketi The school has been transformed to a certain extent because of the introduction of electricity Now the teachers are able to prepare their, their work because they, we now have electricity and they also we were not in a position to buy some of the gadgets that were encouraged to use by the government, especially the laptops, because we were not connected to electricity. There's no way we could charge them. But right now, as I talk, I have a laptop with me here, with, which I can charge willy nilly and access internet where the network is in spots, then manage also to download internet pictures that I will use for my teaching and learning to the children, thereby actually improving even the pass rate. I was in the first school of my kids, and I found out that I was a computer. I was able to dance and dance and dance and dance and dance and dance and dance. I was able to dance and dance and dance and dance and dance. In the sense that our renovations, our parklands, the the whole thing that we need to change, change it. Because we're going to use a generator, a petrol generator. Oh, what man! We're going to use a market. I saw our solar. Um, but now we're going to use we're going to use our solar. Our market. Imali, even if we're going to use our car, change petrol, fuel. Ngo wa benga tangu sisi ekuanda, ende i petrol i tuura, le fuel le le transporti begu ngosta wote ni kati ni pindi ni pendo ni nguo yangu apa begu double price. So owa maanje ngama kizi la wa wana sugu ni hano rakul, ngo wa lente ngo isipansi akusafan la kala. Sina kabi la maketi business ya inga hambi ngo wa ama drinks la mala to la ma freezer to la ma yoka tu wangu na tengeseki. Sasa vula ngo six, sigo taspa ngo sugu vula ngo five, ngo wao ngo la business, si business yangu ngo thota kila ngo fani market. Ose wuti nchi le, wuti se wuti nzega ama drinks, na mayoka, na ma freezy, na ma lato. Abantu ba wuta gazela loko kanda ngo ba ma wuti sasa, abantu ba wetando wuti ana chini ya kanda. Nengwa ya market inzuzo sengi thola ego pen pen enterprise mbona ngani si chini leo mwasi ngani si lento tuko akusafana na isolo sengi la market. One key success factor for operating mini grids is human capacity development. Training and technical skills are essential to address the operational challenges that such systems require. The project is building local technical capacities to develop on the ground people's abilities to maintain the solar system. The project therefore facilitated operations and maintenance capacity building trainings for selected trainee community technicians. Esi sana tisa upata la wanu wa tu eskolo, lugo tisikuani sio kuzitengi la uulia, lugoenza au unyenye lugo ngamewe kufunia imali mpili ni zetu. The Mashaba Mini Grid is paving the way in the enhancement of rural electrification projects with clean, sustainable, and renewable energy sources, which have improved the people's livelihoods. The project is trying to balance commercial viability with the need to provide basic energy services for the rural poor. Developing a viable model depends on increasing communities' ability to pay cost-reflective tariffs. This will improve over the final coming two years of the project, which focus on developing small businesses, irrigation schemes and market linkages. With only 5% of rural areas in Southern Africa having access to grid electricity, the success stories from Mashaba are providing key lessons on how decentralized, Renewable energy systems can be a vital strategy for development in the region.